where it's stretched forward okay this extra length originally the 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 toe came down to here and then it contained the sole tubules so that they grew right they grew down like this and you had a thickened ridge right here and then it it tapered off and went up into the frog okay now this toe got stretched forward like this and the whole foot flattened out because it stretched all the sole tubules forward so now what you're doing by your bevel which is right here to the white line okay okay even though the white line is stretched forward now on occasion you can go a little past that depending on what is going on with the foot but I'm talking in general here there's other things we have to learn for sure but ultimately what you're doing is by your bevel you're growing this out you this is growing down at the same time and as it grows it connects in here to the coffin bone and the whole thing starts coming back like that now you hit a point where the growth is right here because you have kept beveling off it's kept growing down you've grown out this wedge here and you got a tight connection but you still got a flat foot okay and this is a very important important place to be because this is you've torn out basically through your bevel um, the you've taken away the leverage which has helped the foot to repair itself now you got a tight white white line coming down here and uh, this is hard to explain you got a tight white line and a tight wall again but you still have no sole depth okay You're, you've got a flat foot and you've got to be real careful and and recognize when you hit this stage when the flare has basically gone out of the foot and your wall is reattached to here because a lot of times you have a little excess wall down here you're wanting to trim off and that's when you wind up really setting a horse down on his on his on the apex of his frog because now what the horse needs is he needs to grow some more um, this wall has to now that it's here it has to lengthen and come down here and bring the sole tubule uh, well okay here's your wall okay but this wall has to now lengthen here and so that these sole tubules let's get a different color um, let's use green the sole tubules right here can start to grow like this and thicken up around the tip of this coffin bone here and then you'll get this ridge of sole right in here as the wall is growing down see the wall was forward like so <clears throat> you've grown out the laminar wedge you've grown the wall so it's attaching to the bone again and it's actually bringing coming back like this but then it gets to a point here where then now it has to lengthen vertically see it was stretched horizontally but now you're wanting it to lengthen slightly vertically the same thickness of what your sole would be so <clears throat> in essence you're growing the toe longer but longer vertically not longer horizontally to where it's stretched and as this comes back it pushes all these sole tubules back so that they can grow the right direction again and thicken up here around the tip of the coffin bone that of course goes all the way around the foot so you brought your wall back now your sole tubules can thicken up right in here and uh, let's see and that's how you get your concavity because it goes like this you see there you'll get this ridge of sole here so in Rachel's horse's foot <coughs> um, 
she's actually got concavity. But because, because see what concavity is what lengthens the toe down this way and picks up the front of the foot and picks up the, the apex of the frog off the ground. Like, like so. See, it grows down like so. And it actually picks up the front. Now, understanding that, you know, I hope I've explained it. Now we're going to look at this picture again of this foot that just has wonderful concavity to it. Um, <clears throat> I keep saying concavity, but just a minute. Anyway, hold on. Okay, so there's my stretched out toe I've grown on. Let's let's put the foot back to the way it was. Okay. Okay. This is what you're doing basically. So you're taking the stretched part, you're growing it back down and lengthening the toe so that the sole tubules can grow in right. That's why I say the wall is a retaining wall, not a not meant to be a bearing wall. It's meant to retain what, what is behind it and keep it all safe and in shape. All right, so I, I hope that kind of explains some stuff. It's really early in the morning. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I haven't even gone out and fed, but I felt I had to help you understand this more, that uh, what you're doing is you're, you're growing the right length of toe you you are not just cutting off the right length of toe um, you can imagine how when the toe is stretched real forward here and you start rasping into this already thin sole how you can really expose the tip of this coffin bone and so we want to leave as much as possible whatever the horse has already developed within its foot to adapt and then just do the bevel a strong bevel up to the white line right here so that the top here will start growing down and back and then once your 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 wall gets grown out you know to here and you've gotten rid of your flare then you got to grow a little more length on it consequently it is going to grow forward a little bit too because the foot uh, grows at that angle. See, it doesn't go, grow straight up and down. You can't look at the bottom of this foot and say, well, the toe needs to be this long. Because if your toe is only, only to here, okay, it still needs to come forward. I hope you're kind of understanding. I mean, it's it's kind of a easy difficult concept here okay there's a distance between here and here but uh, just because you rasp off a certain amount doesn't mean your foot is gonna be right still you've got to get this length down here on the foot to contain these sole tubules so that they will grow in now that's a big conglomerated mess but I hope I'm making myself understood. But All right, what I'm really finding interesting is that my theory on the anatomy of what is called the toe stay, which is very important to understand as far as uh, a wild horse's hoof and its sole and how it grows. Every horse, domestic or wild, has the same internal anatomy. And if you understand the anatomy of the soul, okay, and how you actually get true concavity, um, you come to understand that um, the soul is not actually concave. It's what you call crescentric. Um, it's it's convex around the perimeter, and then it turns concave. Crescentric is. Uh, Crescentric is like the moon. It's con like the moon, not when it's full, but like when you have a quarter moon or something like that, and it's uh, concave on one side and convex on the other. 
So the true anatomy of the soul, which I will explain in the uh, in the teaching on the toast day, the lost link, uh, the lost piece of anatomy that that anatomists have forgotten. Um, and it is in the books. Uh, it's just that I guess they didn't think it was important. They forgot about it. Didn't understand it. So, um, anyway, what I'm starting to see is what I've been trying to build because I know about that. I know it's in the foot. And so I'm trying to bring it out in the exterior of the foot is starting to come to pass, which is really awesome. And that is... If you look at this foot, okay, I've rasped it down a little bit, but this little, uh, the, the edge right here of the sole, that is uh, a ridge that is developing around the entire hoof, except over here it's not as good because, of course, I have a flared out hoof on this side because uh, I let the bar lay over. And so uh, we let him put his foot down for a minute. He gets like a little jerk going on. Okay, dear. Give me your foot. Okay. Okay, so right there. I don't know if you can see it. I need to get him around where he's in the shade. You see that little half moon there? That's actually a ridge of sole developing in the, in the toe. Which is supposed to develop around the whole perimeter of the foot. And so I'm starting to get that. A thick ridge of sole around the perimeter. Um, I just thought that was interesting. Okay. Well, I've picked out a day here to work on my horse's back feet. You can do the front feet one day, do the back feet the next. You don't have to do them all in the same day. And this is why you got to foliate the sole. Look at this. It was hidden under there. There was a nice smooth layer, and then that was hidden under there. Um, it was almost, the sole was almost flush up here with the frog. Um, you can really see that ridge of hoof wall there. You know, you, you won't get your hooves at the right angle. You have got to start exfoliating the sole. And uh, I need to exfoliate that sole, trim up that frog. Um, wild horses do not retain dead soul. Uh, they wear it out. Their, their hooves are smooth. Like this. Like that. See? They do not retain soul. Now there's a little bit of soul in there. But not a lot. 